Today we're going to talk about different tools that meteorologists and you and I use to measure different weather conditions. So let's go over our DLO. We'll talk about some tools and I'll show you some pictures. All right. Today I will identify weather tools that measure different weather. Now it's your turn. Today I will identify weather tools that measure different weather. We use tools every day. In your pencil box, you have scissors for cutting, that's a tool. You have cubes for counting, that's a tool. And you have glue for gluing. Those are different tools that you use every day. If you were fixing a car, you would have other tools you might need. You might need a wrench, a lift, a flashlight. What kind of tools do you think you might need if you were building a doghouse? Maybe a hammer, maybe a measuring tape, a saw, a pencil. What I keep in my classroom is a toolbox. And in this toolbox, I have all sorts of things. I'll show you. I've got a hammer, I've got pliers, I've got a measuring tape, I've even got a little electric screwdriver, I've got a level, I've got some scissors, some screwdrivers, um, a little scraper. So those are different tools that I use in my classroom in case something breaks or I need to adjust something. So we use tools in different applications all the time. So let me close my toolbox and we'll talk about tools that people use to measure the weather. So let's look at this windsock. Look at the colors. Red, white, red, white, red, white, red, white, red. That's a pattern, just like weather patterns. Patterns repeat. That is a pattern on the windsock. It's not a sock that you put on your feet, but this sock, has a, it's like a big tube, and the wind can blow through it and it's open at this end so that it can stand up. And the wind sock tells us how fast the wind is blowing. I typically see wind socks when I go to the airport because this is an important tool that pilots use to safely land their planes or take off. If it's too windy, it won't be safe enough. So they use this tool to help them fly. I have another picture. It didn't print out color, so I'll put it on Schoology. But the different colors mean different wind speeds. I didn't know that until I looked it up. So if the, the flag is kind of limp, then it's just blowing just a little tiny bit because it's just the indicator, that first red part. But then as the wind gets stronger, the wind sock picks up more and fills up more, and then it tells you how fast it is blowing. So in this picture, look at the two wind socks. This one is straight, and this one is just laying down flat. Which one do you think is a windy day, and which picture shows not a windy day? This is the windy day because the sock is full of wind, so it's blowing straight across the sky. And on this day, no wind, so the sock is just sitting there waiting for a windy day. There are other tools that we use to measure different weather. So the wind sock we can use to measure wind. If it was raining, you could use a weather gauge, or a rain gauge, sorry. And I'll, I'll put a color picture on Schoology for you. And there's numbers on it and little lines. So when it rains, the rain comes in the top of the gauge and then it'll fill up, so it'll tell you how much rain it has rained. Another tool that we use is a thermometer. This one is a very popular tool that we use because it tells us what we need to wear for the day. The wind, I guess you could wear a windbreaker, that would work. If you have a rain gauge and it's full of water, actively raining, you could look out the window and know you need to wear a jacket or an umbrella or something long sleeve so you don't get wet and soggy. But this tool you may have seen before, a thermometer. Sometimes we th see thermometers that are uh, little rectangles like this and sometimes we see them like circles. I've seen circle ones um, outside, I've seen circle ones at pools. 
And then these ones I see in lots of people's um, just backyards. So a thermometer, the typical ones like this, I have, I have a real one actually, I'll show you. I'll show you this first. It has two sets of numbers. There's different ways, there's different types of measurement. So in the United States, typically, we measure our weather with Fahrenheit. And we also have a temperature called Celsius. So in different parts of the world, they use either one, but when you have them together, then you can see um, how hot or cold it is with the two different sets of numbers. So on this gauge, it is pointing right at between 60 and 80, and the number right between 60 and 80 is 70. So this thermometer is saying it's 70 degrees. And this thermometer over here, I can follow the little line in the middle, or that would be 70 degrees Fahrenheit, I mean. And Fahrenheit here is all the way up, and it says 65 degrees Fahrenheit. So you follow the gauge all the way up, and wherever it stops, you can see how warm or cold it is. This little thermometer we have in our um, classroom window, and it's in the shape of a snowflake because snow is my favorite weather. Do you see the little red part? That's called mercury. So that, when it gets warm, it goes up the middle of the thermometer, and it says right now that it is about 70, about 60, about 68 degrees in the classroom right now. And we usually hang it in the window, but I pulled it over here to show you. So it has warmed up. Over by the window, it's colder, but in the classroom, it's warmer. And if it gets cold, then the mercury goes down, 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 down. They can come in. Sorry, I didn't prop my door open. So now you have a thermometer worksheet. There's two different sides. And you are going to measure the weather now. So you can, another tool that we use, uh oh, did I not bring it, is our phones. And I always show you my phone. I left it on my desk. But when you look at your phone, it also can tell you the weather on your little weather forecasting app because that's what I do every morning is I look at the weather and say what do I need to wear today? Do I need to wear a warm coat or a light jacket? So it's the season of fall so I've been wearing a light jacket but next week I saw the forecast and it says it's going to snow my favorite type of weather. So here it says a thermometer measures how hot or cold the air is the higher the number on the thermometer the hotter it is the lower a number is on a thermo thermometer the colder the weather color in today's temperature. So I want you and whoever's helping you to either look at a thermometer that you have at home or look on your phone and see what today's weather is going to be. Then you're going to color it in all the way up to the number that it's going to be today. It's supposed to be in the 70s. Then on this side I want you to practice. So here's our mercury, and it goes up, 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 and what number is that that it's stopping at? A four and a zero. 40. So that says it's 40 degrees. So you'll write 40 down here. On this one, it's a little bit warmer because it's higher. Up, 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 up. What number is that? An eight and a five. 85. So this thermometer says 85 degrees, so you'll need to write eight and a five. And then this one over here, ooh, burr, it's cold. The mercury only goes up to 20, so you'll write 20, a 2 and a 0. So write today's temperature, look at your own thermometer at home or on your phone, and then I want you to get a red crayon, a red marker, or a red colored pencil and fill this in all the way up to whatever temperature it's going to be. Now it's your turn to be a meteorologist and measure the weather.